How you doing everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. You probably see this in the morning or whenever you watch it. Haven't been at far below in a while. I had to go in there for something, so I figured uh do a little quick video. Not about the cable so much, about the other thing, but before we get into that, you know it. You know what I always say. Please, I appreciate it if you hit that like on the side there. Over there, hit that like, that thumbs up. Tells me you like the video, gets the video out to more people, helps disrupt all that algorithm, and it's totally free, and it's so appreciated, appreciative. And then over there, you could hit the subscribe, hit it again, you get those two little marks above it. That will let it, the videos when they come out, it will let you know it will come up in your news feed. So you will definitely know when those videos come out. Now, I had to use my charger. We were at a party the other day, yesterday. So I used my uh, uh, Micro Center free charger. If you have a Micro Center by you, you can get the coupons online on Instagram or Facebook. And you can go and get your free charger. And it's really good. It works. Used it at Legoland as too. As well, I mean. Now, for the cables. And if you go to Five Below, go there for the cables. I did get two different cables. One to put in my pouch that I have all my charging and phone junk that I bring with me. I got one for that because I didn't realize I did not have a C cable in there, which I thought I did, and I didn't. So I was like, oh, shoot. I actually had to take the one off of the vehicle to use on that Micro Center charger. Not a big deal. The last time when we went to Legoland, I had extra cables with me, so I used one of those. I did have a kind of like... It was curved charger that I had. I'll sh show you guys in another video because I have plans for it. But um, it didn't fit in the case all that well. So it wasn't very good to use. So I've decided since I need a new cable for the vehicle because that one's getting kind of old and it's not hooking up. Because, you know, stuff falls on it. It falls on the floor. You twist it, hit it, pull it, whatever. So I decided to get one of the braided ones. I don't know exactly Oh, you can actually feel it through the case, the box. It's a braid. It's a, um, let's see. That's not the main focus of the video, just to let you know. It's tangle resistant, four feet. I didn't need a super long one. It's chargers and sinks. Works with most Samsung, LG, Google smartphone, and other devices. Fast standard USB port for effective data transfer, sync, and charging connects to a USB power bank. The type C, if you have a lot of the new phones as well as the new Kindle has the type C. One will be for the car, one will be for the uh, the pouch. Since I use this, the Swiss Army for another video, I will use it again. And like I told you, another one, I need to get the scales fixed. I didn't know you can purchase scales, so I need to do that. Let's cut the tape off there. I don't know which one will be in the car and which one will be in the uh, uh, vehicle SUV and which one will be in the pouch. I haven't decided yet. I usually get everything black, so I figured I'd get a black and red. My son really likes red, so I figure why not. Got the little twisty ties in the back there. They're basically the same electronic necessities as the name of the brand. And right there, like so. And you know, just a very simple uh, instruction thing, connect, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure we all know how to connect cell phone cords, so. But there you go, heavy duty, tangle free cable. I'll probably put the red in the car because the car is black too, or the SUV, I mean. It's a little black too, so a little something different, I guess. It's got kind of a metal um, end to it, which is kind of cool. I think it's more durable, hopefully, because I have had problems in the past. Put the twist tie to the side, you always save those because, you know, buy a loaf of bread that doesn't have it or organizing cables, whatever. And this is kind of a black gray one. 
That one I'm not gonna untangle because it's gonna go in my little pouch. I'll just take it out real quick. But the main focus of the video is that charger right there. And of course I'm not gonna keep the boxes, you don't need those. Huh, this one doesn't have the instructions in it. Well, that's a little different. It's a plastic kind of. And you got two ties on that one, so that will. And it's four feet as well, C, Type C charger. Same, you know, babbling on the case or whatever. Oh, wait a minute. I actually made a mistake because it is different. Because this is Prime Connect. So it is two different. Um, so the black or black and gray is electronic necessities and it comes with the little instructions. And this one is Prime Connect. They're both four foot, they're both braided. But I'm definitely gonna use this one in the vehicle because it is a metal. The other one's gonna go in my little pouch, which I plan on doing a, a video on my bag I bring to work and around with me. So we'll go over that little pouch in there when we do that and everything. So I saw this over by the new headphones and stuff. I didn't see any headphones I was kind of interested in, but it charges up to 1.5 times approximately for iPhones or for iPhones 12, I mean, sorry. But you know, you can use it on anything to just charge up. And it's a overcharge protection solar panel. That's what interests me was solar panel, overheat protection, Charges by one solar panel or power adopter. You can plug it into the wall. I did open it. It's 500 milliamps. I did open it because I wanted to have it in use. So when I did the review, I could show you guys. And as you can see, I just hit the button. Oh, it started going on because of the light here from the thing. So it does definitely work. It took quite a time to charge. But um, the reason why, and here's the instructions so you can see all that fun stuff right there. Now, and it has its own little cable, which I will put in my bag, but you know, I got other cables, so I don't really need it. We will use that for demonstration purposes, as well as the Kindle. But, you know, it's got this little one now, it does have kind of a rugged construction. It shows the dude mountain climbing on the thing right there. It does. That's the sunlight charging it. Now, the reason for this was I was thinking, like, I could have the other one as a backup, but this, like, if you're walking around, like, an amusement park or something, like, when we went to Legoland, I used the little micro center one. I didn't charge it, so it wasn't that charge yesterday, but it did, still did the job. So I was figuring this one, if you're out and about, Put a little uh, carabiner on it, which I think it shows on the side. Yeah, it shows it with a little carabiner right there. Put a little carabiner on it, and you could walk around the amusement park or wherever you are, park, you know, whichever. And it will charge itself so it doesn't run down that much. If you don't want to wait for that, it does have a port that you can plug this into. This is a regular um, USB micro, and you just put that in there. Like so, and you could just plug it into a USB thing. You can actually charge two devices, as you can see. That's a DC 5 volt, and that is a DC 5 volt. So you have two USB ports on there. You can just, uh, I'll just cover this up for now. It did take quite a long time to fully charge, just to let you know. I'm put in the red charger like so. Put this over here. And we'll get the Kindle. And oh, you heard the little bing. And you can see up right over there, it is charging. So, and I am shooting this on a Sunday, just so you know. But it is definitely charging it. So there you could charge your Kindle on one side, your phone on the other. And you're all good. So definitely something I would pick up. It would come in handy, especially if you're going to, like I said, to amusement park or something like that. With the kids, you got a little something to charge everything with. 
and it will charge itself definitely if you're out and about in the sun so you know a very very useful product i think i've seen other ones that one was actually eight dollars so you know the price there's eight dollars these were five bucks five below five five something anyway eight dollars for the charger but i just see them on amazon and i saw a fold out one that wouldn't be very good for carrying in um harbor freight so i've seen a few of them and i've been thinking about getting and i finally got one and i like that one i just have to get a carabiner for it i could probably use I have my desk over here, so I got this little one that might fit on it and work. I don't know. We shall see. But um, definitely, definitely something. If you walk around with the kids and stuff, go to the park, whatever. A perfect way. Sorry, one minute. Hold on. I just need to take a little drink. So I'm getting a little scratch in the throat there from because my allergies are bothering me today. Anyway, definitely something. I would look into if I was you guys, if you're going to be out and about, you know, riding your bike, whichever, you'll have something to charge it with, charge your phone with. And that's not the perfect carabiner for it. So I do have to find another carabiner. I have tons around, so that will not be a hard task. So there you go, guys. Appreciate y'all watching this. Hope you found this useful and thank you so much. Have a great day. Okay.